one of the things that I unbelievably, crazily worked on when I was doing my graduate work was laying the foundation for control systems for making prosthetic hands. And the reason that I got involved in that, strangely enough, is that I recognized how valuable I felt my hands were and what a tragedy it would be to lose your hands. There's been a, a loss of, of knowledge of, as far as making things with your hands. And um, you know, something as a society I think we've gotten away from. And, and so the, the number of people that are able to do it has unfortunately shrunk. Um, so having a skill set that is in a way a return to some knowledge that is being lost in society is kind of a, it's a nice feeling. It's always been a, a love of mine to work with my hands. The best part about it is, is having a, a design or concept in your head and, and feel as though you can create something and, and see it from, from start to finish. I've always been a person who's been in the process of making things, so here uh, the best part about this company is that it takes on very challenging projects and produces them in a wide range of fabrication techniques. So. Um, there's never sort of anything that comes along that we say oh, we'll find somebody else to do this part. Not only do we direct overall large projects, we're in charge of all of the tiny little details that go into that. So we get to focus very intensely on some small aspect of it and actually I describe it as we give birth to that little thing and we get to do this over and over. We can make design decisions kind of throughout the entire process and we can determine the scope of each project and we can determine the depth of our craft and the process that we work. The designers, they love the whole process of being able to sit in one room and draw it and talk about it and then it comes to the next room over and a day later we see what we were drawing and it's done. We were able to basically take on all the different elements within a broader design job and do them in-house. This happens to be unique because uh, you have really strong architectural design, engineering, and fabrication, a high level. That combination of all that expertise is probably what makes this thing work so well. And what I do is, is all about is all about the journey from being approached mostly through word of mouth from somebody who was in some place that we did and then came here and asked us if we could do something else. And then some new idea comes and then, and then we're off. And that process can last anywhere from two or three months for some small project and then up to four years for a new building from concept to completion. Our process with our clients is an ongoing thing throughout the project so that certain things are determined ahead of time but then enough doors are left open as we're going. And so I better really like the process and journey a lot better than the result because the result you don't get to really dwell in it, um, but I get to live all the time, over and over, the process.